This is a plastic install tool. It came with my IKEA bathroom faucet. Shame on you, IKEA, for even considering making a tool like this. A one-time use, disposable, plastic tool? That's terrible for the planet. You know better. I'm gonna show you five ways to redesign this tool using no plastic. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred backpack hanger in stainless steel and aluminum designed by me. Holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, holds your keys, super versatile. So I'm packing up some here that were recently sold. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. Did you know this episode's sponsor, PCB Way, offers injection molding services? including plastic molding, liquid silicone rubber, as well as insert and over molding. They offer a wide range of plastic materials from hard to soft and flexible varieties. Additionally, they offer a wide range of SPI mold surface finishes as well. Check them out for your next project. Link in the description below. Two more things about this tool. There is no marking on here to indicate what type of plastic it is. I think it's nylon reinforced and because there's no markings means it will never, ever, ever be recycled because it cannot be identified correctly. The other bad thing about this tool is there's no information on the business end about the size of this nut driver here. So making it even less likely that would be kept by the user or the purchaser to use it in the future for some other project, making it more likely that it's gonna be thrown away. Terrible Ikea, just awful. The first option for redesigning this tool would be pretty much to leave it exactly the way it is and die cast it. Die casting is very similar to injection molding. We would have a slide on the left that would help form the hollow section of the handle and we would have a slide on the right that would form the hollow section of the nut driver. And then you would have a two piece mold that would open and close and these slides would go in and out of it to essentially create a thin walled hollow metal part. For those of you unfamiliar with die casting, it's a metal casting process that forces molten metal under high pressure into a mold cavity. And most die castings are made from non-ferrous metals like zinc and copper, aluminum, and maybe magnesium or lead. And in this case, I think aluminum or magnesium would be really good for this part. The second option for redesigning this tool would be a folded sheet metal tool. So the part would be laser cut flat and then folded. And what I'm sketching out here on the top left is how that flat piece would look. And then you would laser weld the handle together along the seam. You would fold the tabs down and then you could laser weld that to the folded sheet metal shaft to make a reasonably cheap cost, one-time use tool. For a flat folded laser cut and laser welded tool like this, uh, materials that would be good would be maybe an aluminum or a mild steel. The third option here would be to laser cut some flat stock. So again, there's no tooling involved with this. You would just laser cut out, let's say, I don't know, three, four millimeter material, and the discs would slot into the handle to form the grip. On the other end, you would have a couple of U-shaped pieces that you would uh, laser weld or possibly even braze. You could do this for the whole tool all the pieces together with to get your strength for the nut driver end. 
The beauty of a part like this, along with the folded sheet metal part from the previous example, is that you're using flat stock material, so there's no tooling. You could use a mild steel here, or even like a 6061, very common aluminum, to put a tool like this together to be cost effective. The fourth option for this tool would be using stock materials, but instead of using flat stock like we used in the previous two, we're just going to use some round stock. So this is material that is extruded to the sizes that we want or specced out to the sizes that we want. And in this case, it's just two tubes uh, where one is press fit into the handle. And then on the business end here, you could crash form that nut. Uh, driver pretty simply so there would be a little bit of tooling there or whatever but that's that's super minimal material wise you could use some steel or some aluminum here if you wanted to get fancy you could laser some holes in the grip uh, for additional grip or even knurl the handle for uh, some additional grip as well The last option that I can come up with for making this tool would be to forge it. So if you forge this part, you would start out with like some sort of a slug of metal and you would close that in with two mold halves and then you would drive a pin in from the right to form the handle and then you would drive a pin in from the left to forge or create the opening for the nut driver. And this is probably like a hot forged type of process. Forging gives you really good strength and uh, for not a lot of uh, cost, and which would be ideal for this sort of a part. You could forge this out of steel or aluminum, whatever's gonna be you know, most cost effective for something like this. At some point in this planet's future, I hope it just becomes illegal to make anything out of plastic. And we're starting to see some of this where communities ban single-use plastic bags and many grocery stores are going to start phasing this out here in America. For example, here in the United States, it's unfathomable that we do not even have a national recycling program. Many countries around the world do, but many, many, many more do not. It's a huge problem. Human individuals have shown time and time again they cannot control themselves and government is oftentimes not up to the task of helping us, guiding us, and in this case recycling. So I think the next best option is for corporations to become more responsible with the plastic garbage that they produce. Yes, Anything that's plastic is essentially garbage. Don't kid yourself. Corporations need to step up to create and push government to create recycling programs. Plastic mining needs to start taking place. Corporations need to be responsible. If you make plastic, anything, you have to take it back and dispose of it properly. That would be an ethical thing to do, morally responsible. Be responsible for the garbage that you create, have created, and will create in the future. Corporations need to start showing better social conscience for that type of product. Yes, non-plastic products cost more, but they're more durable. Plastic is easy, lazy. You're taking the easy way out. Just injection mold it. It's not responsible for the future of this planet and the humans that live on it. If your company is interested in designing new products that are sustainable, environmentally friendly, durable, long lasting, I'm definitely interested in helping and working on those kinds of projects. Feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to give you and your company a quote.
sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.